Ray here from Our Sacred Seeds in the heart of Italy, Orvieto, going to show you how to increase your germination rates for your young seedlings and how they can grow exponentially during that first 30 days without the use of artificial fertilizers or chemicals. Here in our greenhouse we grow lots of different plants. We have annual crops that we use for our orto, our garden. These are our food crops. We have perennial crops that we're growing for our food forest and for berry plantations. So different windrows that we're going to put along the property as well as trees and shrubs for grazing animals and habitat for more natural biodiversity. We are looking at ways to maximize the growth potential of our seedlings and increase the germination rates of seeds that need to be stratified. What we've discovered is a product called Effective Microorganisms and this has really revolutionized our production and it will be beneficial for years to come. This product is a blend of over 80 strains of microbes. There's a wide diversity here that work synergistically together. They're symbiotes. They're naturally occurring microbes that have been found in soil environments. They're all beneficial. None of them are pathogens or harmful to human health or plant health. They actually increase plant health and vitality. One study undergone by the Brazilian National Research Council demonstrated that effective microorganisms when applied to water and a soaking regime for young seeds that need to germinate, they discovered that 10 minutes of soaking prep increased the germination rates significantly compared with seeds that hadn't been soaked in this mixture. They also found that applying effective microorganisms as a foliar spray or a misting application, like I have here, on young seedlings as they're starting to develop, they discovered that their growth potential within the first 50, within the first 30 days rather, was increased by 50%. They had a 50% increase in their root development and a 50% increase in their stem and leaf development. If you use too much effective microorganisms in a high concentration, you can actually damage your plants. So it's important to use the right volume. This study, which you can reference in the course notes below, indicated that when used at one part effective microorganisms to 500 parts water, these benefits would incur. But when it was used at any higher concentration, the rates of effectiveness decreased until it was used at full concentration, it actually killed most plants and caused damage. So what this is demonstrating is effective microorganisms are inoculating the soil that you're using on your young seedlings to grow. The potting mix or the compost blend, it's inoculating it with the microbes that will help to produce nutrients, antioxidants, growth hormones, vitamins, antibiotics to minimize pests, and they're also increasing the ability of young seedlings to uptake nutrients such as minerals that are already present in the soil medium that you're using. It is an excellent product and if you're going to use it at this ratio you want to apply it to your crops once a week and just a light misting application is all you need to your young seedlings and away you go. Thanks for watching this video on how effective microorganisms can radically improve the health of tender young seedlings while increasing your seed germination potential. If you want
want to watch additional videos on affected microorganisms, check them out over here. Here's a question for you. If you could grow any plant, what would it be and why? Leave a comment below. Let us know. We'd love to hear 